society, in a civilized society, you don't need to tell Buhari to resign. He has failed. He will say, look, these are my challenges in a civilized society, in a progressive environment. He said, these are my challenges. I can no longer continue to be here while you are suffering. I would rather resign than to continue to allow you to suffer. I can no longer run this country. That would be honorable. But they will never do that in Nigeria. The person that was caught talking about uh, prison uh, Al-Qaeda, is he not in this government? What has he done? What have they done? The person promoting Al-Qaeda through his statement, he said he has, he has repented. He has, okay, that you have repented. Call for you saying, look, I have truly repented. And because of this statement I made at that time, I am resigning my position. And I want Nigerians to forgive me. That time, Nigeria will forgive him. And I don't know the type of people who are driving the public relation of these people. I think their public relation uh, practitioners are fake, like the like of uh, Garibaldi, who always want to promote wrong, the wrong of. He can't don't look at Mr. President and say, Mr. President, this thing, the people are talking. They are complaining. Listen to what they are saying. If we must move this country forward, we must listen to them. But you want to turn everything, uh, you know, anybody that criticizes the president, you, you find something to say against that person. Like the way they spoke to, uh, what is the name, the Catholic priest. Yes, Mbaka supported the, I mean, supported Buhari. Even at the, at the, at the, I mean, at, at, at the time that he, as a priest, shouldn't have done so. He supported him. Now that Buhari is not doing well, he also went and said, no, I can no longer support you, you are not doing well. And somebody said, hey, it's because they didn't give him contract. What contract do you think a Catholic priest will need? What kind of money will he be looking for that he hasn't got? Are you getting what I'm saying? Simply because from Mbaka's response, simply because the man said, ah, I only went to that place in order for me to give you people that I feel can solve your security problem. Now that, has, that was turned into something negative, isn't it? Because they don't want this security problem solved. That is what I think as an ordinary citizen in this country. The government doesn't want the security solution. They didn't want the, any solution to these security challenges. Otherwise, why would you categorize somebody like Mbaka, who brought some expert to you and say, look at them, see what you can, how you can work with them to help you eliminate this problem. And you say, oh, you didn't talk all that way. But because it's now against your government, you say, oh, it's because we didn't give him contract. It's childish. These are the kind of public relations propagandists that all of us fell into that took us to where we are today. Some of us said it in 2015. I said we are going to go backward. Are we not backward now? It's there for everybody to see. You know? It's very easy to decorate, dress what somebody has finished and say we have done it. Go to Jebba Road. When they came, they stole all they have done Jebba Road. What they did in Jebba Road is not up to 500 meter. But they put that particular 500 meter in the public view. We have solved the problem along Jebba uh, Mokwa Road. Go to that place. So, just giving you an example. They have done uh, Kaduna Abuja Rail. Why did the one that did it? Didn't you see that we're not there in Abuja? We saw when Jonathan drove the train, I mean, the road in that train from Abuja to Kaduna and back. Is there anything remaining? The metro line, didn't you see it? When they were constructing that thing and it gave us hold up, was it, was it not completed along a, 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 a Jai Road there? When, when it was completed, don't we see the building at the airport? So you now succeeded in putting grass. Then you see, we have done it. I, we have to wake up. I am not in support of uh, bad governance in any form, whether PDP or APC. But the truth is this. This is the worst government ever. This person, calling for his resignation will not solve the problem. Just that they, the way they change the service chiefs, has it changed the problem? Is there, have we recorded any success? No. Calling for his resignation for how many years so that there will be another go No. What we're saying is, let us come to a round table and discuss our problem. Let somebody listen to me, listen to you, listen to each and every one of us. Igbo, Yoruba, Hausa, name them, we sit down, we don't have any other country to call Nigeria that is our own country. We sit down on a round table, sort the problems out. We know what we know, we know what the problems are. 
The Hausa knows what their problems are. The Fulani knows what their problems are. So other ethnic groups, they sit down and discuss and sort our problems. So calling him, uh, calling for him to resign will not even solve any problem. It will not solve any problem. As a wise person, that's the wise thing to do. Let him sit down. Call his so-called ministers. Call his cabinet. Ministers, name them, sit down. What is the problem? Call traditional rulers. Call some clergymen. Sit down and you solve the problem. The insecurity in this country uh, has become something else. We are no more happy with the news we are hearing and what is going on. People are dying everywhere. The issue of kidnapping, the issue of robbery, the issue of uh, bandits, forming strategies, all is dead. People are dying anyhow. So uh, you don't need to be called for resignation. As a, as a president who is human, need to voluntarily table his resignation. It has shown that he is incapable to govern the state. So I'm, I'm in support of those who, who, who say he should resign. Definitely he should resign. Because it's no more, it's, it's no more a, a child play. Consider the other for the status, economy, unemployment, all of us were working here. Nothing is working, not much. Anything is, is working well. What is going on in Nigeria now is, uh, 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 is not something that is caused by any man. You know, it is karma. Our basket of karma is full. So there, no man, no man can undo what is going on except God. You know, go and bring the Obamas, go and bring the Bill Clintons, go and bring the Jerry, uh, Jerry Rawlings of Ghana. They cannot undo it. It is karma, and we have to face it squarely. So that is what is going on. That, it's not about Buhari. It's not about... Uh, during Jonathan, it was worse than this. But, you know, Buhari came, stabilized it, and, uh, you know, going out of hand again. It's karma, and we have to bear it. What's happening in this country about insecurity, for me, uh, it's about uh, we, the masses, we supposed to hold you and support government because it's not all thing that the government will do for us. Like in my place, there's something that will happen in part of insecurity. If I am not contribute, government can no, even know what is going on there. But if I contribute, me as a community, then where I stop, government will help me that. But uh, according to people, they are talking about uh, Muhammad Buhari. Yes, president has the fault because he's the number one in this country. He's the person that's supposed to know what is going on in this country, not to go and sleep and to do other things. Like before, people are seeing Mr. President are traveling. We are thinking about he's traveling for insecurity, but often now there is not resort which is bad. We are calling to Mr. President, let him come. The promise that he's promised us, let him come and do it. It's not easy in this country. If it's, it's another country, impeachment is supposed to be done. But if you say impeachment, impeachment in this country, it will not work. If we like or if we don't like, it will not work. That is the issue. But in other country, impeachment is supposed to be done. Sir. Because anything that uh, president we do to make him be impeached this country the president of this country is already be doing it insecurity price control all this and this this kind of thing is part of insecurity is part of impeachment Nigeria, i really felt so bad on what is going on now because i feel that people are no longer secured due to what is going on. People doesn't go to farm. Like those days, they used to say, go to Benue State to buy yam, cheaper, buy food. But now, even in Benue State, they can't farm more as they used to do before. I think our security failed us. They failed us. And as in Nigeria, I think the best thing I think they should do is to at least a kind of share the power, change their strategy of security. 
maybe if the strategy they've been using is not working, they look for other means. If it warrants maybe inviting foreign nations to come and assist us so that at least we can, not even for us, mostly for our children that are coming. No, most of these are big men, most of their children are abroad. Most of them are outside, they are not here. So they are not experiencing all this. My people say when it happens to a big man, people hear it, but when it happens to a common man, nobody hear about it. Look at what happened to those, uh, those students. Up to now, they've not been almost 57 days, they are still there. Just 100 million that one, one of our one, one of government officials can even pay and make the those work because none of them is affected. So I think our government should change their strategy. They should, change, they should look for another way to help us with masses. So that this is our country. We are not going to anywhere, and we can't run away from our country. But the, but I think I think they are not doing us good. They are not doing us any good. Now he, he, even himself, you know that he should have resigned by himself. Even Tete. Now he's, he's only disgracing himself by making things worse and worse and worse. He should, on his own, he, should, he would have volunteered long ago to resign, even before the first tenor finished, because he really failed. He failed. It's not what we expected. We said change, change. Though people voted for change, not knowing whether it's... Because there are different changes. It can be changed from good to bad. It can be changed from bad to worst. But this one is from bad to worst. So I, I think he should, he should even do it maybe tomorrow. He should resign immediately. Not even. He doesn't need to waste time, because he has failed already. He failed